Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wade Bradford. It has been a while since we made a teacherly video on this channel, so I thought we would talk about similes. Similes, as you probably know, are similar to metaphors, but they have these special words, like or as. So a simile is a creative comparison. It is used in figurative language, which basically means it uses this comparison, right? Com a comparison of, uh, of two different things, but finding an interesting similarity between those two things. And that similarity might create uh, a vivid impression upon the reader, it might help the reader understand more, or it might evoke some emotion from the reader. Here are some of my favorite examples of similes from poetry. This one is from William Wordsworth. It's the opening line, I wandered lonely as a cloud. And here's another vivid one by Robert Frost in his poem Design. In this poem, he is describing a white spider sitting on a white flower and a dead white moth with dead white moth wings. And he uses similes to describe it this way, like the ingredients of a witch's broth, a snowdrop spider, a flower like a froth, and dead wings carried like a paper kite. So those are my favorite examples from poetry, but let's look at some examples from comedy. Here's how I try to look at it, and this is just me. This guy being the president, it's like there's a horse loose in a hospital. <laughs> it's like there's a horse loose in a hospital. I think eventually everything's gonna be okay. Uh, I travel a lot, I stay in a lot of hotels, uh, a lot of buffets. Uh, the buffet is basically an answer to the question, well, things are bad, how can we make it worse? How could we design a food-human interaction environment that's basically like driving your dog up to Petco, giving him money, and saying, why don't you go in and get whatever you think you should have? Uh, I never really feel comfortable right when I get in a bar. I'm always kind of like, who are all these strangers? But after a couple of beers, I'm like, these guys are probably my best friends. Because <laughs> your experience in a bar changes over the course of the night, right? As the night goes on, you see really why we go to bars. We go to bars so we can behave like children. Toddlers, really. You ever go to a bar at 2 a.m.? You might as well be picking up a kid at nursery school. <laughs> it's the same experience. The behavior's the same in both places. Both places, there's always some strange yelling for no reason at all, you know? <laughs> both places, you go in the bathroom, it's obvious not everyone's potty trained. <laughs> Both places, there's always someone crying. She was my best friend, but not anymore. Both places, occasionally, there's a fight. You know, he was standing where I wanted to stand. So I punched him in the head. I need more juice. My name is Wade Bradford. This is my channel. We talk about books, stories, literature, movies, mayhem, TV, whatever we want to talk about. And if you're interested, like and subscribe.